Since June 2023, the doctors of pharmacy have been working around the clock, but without any monthly allowance and facing harsh economic realities. Ten months into their mandatory house job, what should have been a pleasant experience has become their nemesis. There's nothing, there's no hope. Ten months into house jobs, I feel disappointed that 12 years after the initiation of FAMD, nothing has been done to actually bring a clear cut roadmap to what happens to us after school. It's unfortunate. It's sad. Sometimes I go to bed, pray to God that uh, he, he touches the heart of whoever is responsible for my salary. A dreadful nightmare every step of the way and a feeling of disappointment for these pharmacists who say life is fast catching up with them. It's okay. You, I, I can't even continue. I can't continue. This traumatizing experience we are living. Because it's like adulthood is catching up with you. The expectations are high and things have to be done. The pharmacy council admits the clearance delays but says it is not responsible for the situation. When people present things in a manner as if, oh, you are where they were graduating, why didn't you factor it in the budget? So that the moment they finish, then they have it. So when you are in housemanship and salesman, you haven't got any money. You should have known from day one. It is not the council that gives clearance. In my earlier interactions with some of the affected doctors of pharmacy, the registrar of the pharmacy council was blamed for the delays. Unofficially, the registrar of the council has made some very um, derogatory comments <laughs> that shows that he's not even interested in us getting our clearance. But Dr. Amaning Dankwa has taken a strong exception to the claims. If, if they know that it is me not doing my job and that is categorical, then why are they complaining? Then they should do the needful. It is sad that they rather don't know the profession they are entering. In June 2023, the Ministry of Health wrote to the Finance Ministry requesting clearance for the 320 pharmacists. But as of April 2024, the doctors of pharmacy have yet to receive financial clearance. We should all stop hoping and start acting. The Pharmaceutical Council tells me they have engaged the Vice President and the Health Minister nominee on the issue. We haven't received the clearance. The Ministry of Health haven't given any clearance to us. Doc, you'd also agree that they are somewhat stranded because they, of the clearance they've not they gotten? They are not. They are not. You can, you can choose to be stranded and choose to be frustrated. So, my brother, in life, you prepare for every stage that you are in. So you don't make it look as if somebody else is responsible. The impact of these pharmacists on patient care is undeniable. Theirs is a plea for recognition of their invaluable contributions to the healthcare system. Christian Yaletivitri News.